Okay, guys, let's take a look at this. Uh, right now, I'm using software version 15.6 on my iPad. iPad Pro 12.9 inches, fifth generation. Now, we're going to come over here to the uh, MX Mix. We're going to tap it. Here, it's showing me a picture of my rack running version 4.09, as well as my IP address that I have attached to it. So I'm going to tell it to go ahead and connect. And there we go. Now, the first thing you see is the red uh, LEDs coming down. That's for the gate. Uh, right now, the home screen, the meters uh, over here, we have the channel meters in and out. We have the gate gain reduction. The dynamics, which is your compressor uh, going on there. We have the mix buses coming over here. We have the matrix. Uh, again, with the uh, dynamic gain reduction. And then the main bus over on the right-hand side, you see you got the little clip symbol up there. And then the CMST, I'm assuming that's threshold. Uh, we're going to go to the aux FX, the auxiliary sends, the auxiliary returns, and the FX returns. And then we've got our in and out. And at this time, uh, everything's basically right there with the rack guys. You know, we don't use the AES EBU. But we have our monitor meters. We have our DCA meters, okay, which is pretty cool. We got our uh, outputs, and then we have our P16s. Now, let's see over here. They're, it looks like they're going to do something with an RTA. That's not active at this time. So if we come back to the home... Uh, there's two places you can disconnect here. You can click the menu here. Uh, do you want to disconnect? We're going to say no. Over here at the Wi-Fi, do you want to disconnect from console? We're going to say no. So, uh, you know, this is it definitely has a long way to go. I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing right now, but it's got a long way to go to get up to where the X and M32 mix was at. Now, this is a cool feature over here that I absolutely love on the right, sends, okay? Uh, if you look at this main meter over here on the right-hand side, right now that is our main out, okay? But if we click this, we can change this to whatever we want to, and that's going to show up just like Zoom. That's bus one coming out of there, regardless of what I go to now. As you can see, 9 through 16, I'm still going to have that zoom fader up there for that particular bus. So if I come up here and send to and I go back to main, then I'm going to have my main out. Uh, right now it says in ear. I don't know why. Um, that is the main. Okay. So let's see, going through the other channels. Uh, the auxiliary in and out. This is another pretty cool feature. I kind of like it. And there it just disconnected on its own. Okay, so we're going to have to connect it back up. And uh, I am sitting probably, I don't know, four feet from the router. And I'm tapping it. But there ain't nothing happening, so I'm going to go ahead and close it. Going to open it back up. And you can see what it's doing there. I haven't done any of this swiping. Okay, I'm going to see, wait for it to kind of calm down there just a little bit. Go back up to the channels. It looks like it's trying to slide across as it changes scenes instead of fading in and out. I don't know. Uh, it, it, it's doing that on its own. Okay, error. That's getting the OCS error on the rack now. Uh, subscription count overflow. So I'm going to clear that. I'm going to clear it again. And it just keeps popping up there. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm going to come over and clear that error message uh, off of the rack. 
I'm going to open this back up. And now I'm getting that error message instantly again. Uh, what I was trying to show you is you can see channel one right here. See, it's, it's given blank and it's coming back. Crash, do you want to share additional information with the developer? I'm going to say no thanks. That's what this video is for. It's scanning for the console. There it is on the rack. Now, if I click on this, that's the pan level now. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. It's a whole lot easier having it up here bigger. Okay, and you just tap off of it. So regardless of which one you wanted to pan, you tap off of it. And there's your pan feature. Uh, DCAs, this is pretty cool. Instead of having the DCA 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 that you have to go through with like X32 mix, it has its own screen. I definitely like that. Okay, matrix and main. Here is your matrix, your middle channel. And then again, we have this assigned up here to the main output. Okay. And then you have your regular buses. And then you have your FX returns. And that is it for now. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from the console. There it is, showing the rack again. And now I'm going to bring up uh, M32 Mix. X32 Mix is my favorite. It's already listening. It's connected. I go to home. Here it is. Okay, this I love. I will never update my iPad as long as I can use this particular program. This is absolutely so convenient for me to use. I know exactly what to do with it. I know exactly how to get around it. It brings up every single thing that I need it to. And here it's showing my rack is connected to two S16s. And getting back to our buses, here's the pan features on these. Uh, and that's my review. So like I said, uh, the beta, it's got a long way to go. And, uh, you know, and, and we'll see how it turns out when they get finished with it. All right. I hope you kind of like the review. Uh, other than that, so far, so good. All right. Take care. God bless. And we are out of here.